What's up, Wastelanders? How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. Uh, welcome to the first ever episode of Kiki B Plays Fallout 76. I am your host, Kiki B. And today I am going to be showing you a cool little camp that I built in the new Happy Builder public world. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and hurry up and get this up here while the world is still active. So they said they're going to have them up for a month, so at the time of upload there will be about three weeks left with Happy Builder. Uh, and I figured maybe this gives you guys some inspiration. Uh, maybe it's just plain fun, I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, here we go. This is some place that I stumbled across back during the beta for the first time. Yes, I haven't been playing this game that long. Um, and it was just so cool. It was a really cute little location, and I've always wished that I could build here. Um, and now, with the new Worlds update, uh, my wish has finally come true. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, this is the little playground here. Uh, I just, I like it. I don't know, it's cute. It just reminds me of places I used to play when I was a kid. Um, anyway. Here's what I built. I tried to kind of keep it looking like a little, you know, playtime castle thing. I love the giddy-up buttercups everywhere. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. And uh, and I tried to fit everything in as neatly and tightly as I could on and around the existing playground equipment um, because I just think that's fun. I really love building in pre-existing locations and this is just... I think this is one of the best that I've gotten to build in so far as far as just being like super, super enjoyable and really cool. So yeah, this is the uh, the main building, I guess sort of little house type building. I did actually put a ceiling in here. Um, but yeah, we got a little living room area. <sighs> Love the doors. Uh, and this is just a back door and a nice view. Ooh, I didn't even realize Uncanny Caverns was down there. You can see it. Cool. Uh, anyway, so yeah, a little kitchen area. Super cute. I love the red stove. So I just kind of went with a I don't know, red and Nuka-Cola theme. And this light's super adorable. And out here, I've tried to kind of mimic the structure around me. Put this little walkway and this bedroom. I wanted to keep everything as playful looking as possible. You know, so... Yeah, toys, Mr. Pebble stuff, neon lights, I don't know, it's just, it's cute, you know? It's not meant to be a super serious, uh, stuffy, boring camp or whatever. Anyway. Uh, over here we've got one of the crafting areas, which is actually built on top of the monkey bars. <laughs> which is kind of fun. I, I think it makes a cool support, you know, as far as, like, looking at it from a structural perspective. It would make a really cool support for a little building like this. Anyway, you can come out here and, uh, if you can actually jump, which apparently I can't, you can go down the slide. We, um, yeah, you can see I stuck a lot of, uh, Beckett, what the fuck are you doing? I stuck a lot of the metal posts under here for supports. I wish I had some kind of wooden post like this. We had these in Fallout 4, something really similar with the barn building set, uh, but we don't have them here. Anyway, over here to the other part of the camp. Uh, the best way to go up here is here. And I've used these uh, stash boxes as stairs because they stack really nicely and easily. I didn't actually have to do anything special or any weird tricks to do this. And you can walk right up them because they're low enough in height. And this is another little room built on top of the monkey bars with other crafting stuff. And if you come on over here, you got a creepy doll. The other way out. And I just thought this was adorable to put Beckett's at the bottom of the slide. <laughs> Not taking any more assistance today, friend. So sorry. Okay, whatever, dude. Anyway, um... Yeah, I didn't do a whole build video of this because the process was kind of convoluted and it was really a... I didn't have a super clear idea when I started it, so those tend to take a lot longer and, uh, and be a lot less interesting to film. But what I did here was just, I put down a glass greenhouse wall and used the flamethrower trap to destroy it for this wall. And then I put Beckett's in there, then repaired the wall and changed it to a wooden doorway wall. 
to get it so that it just sticks out perfectly like this, which it really does. It looks so perfect in that doorway. Super cool. Anyway, then you can just come up here and, um, yeah, that's it. It's really cool. I wanted to do something in the bus, but I just never kind of got around to it. I wanted to have it like a party bus with like a disco ball and colored lights and stuff. But yeah, it's just, meh, maybe later. That's it for me today, folks. It's short but sweet. Uh, I am planning to upload some actual build videos pretty soon, so keep an eye out for those. Make sure that you're subscribed and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any uploads, because we both know you don't want that. Um, if you liked this video, if you thought it was cool, give me a like, leave me a comment. Uh, if there's anything that you want to see in the future, in upcoming videos, let me know that in the comments too. Um, any suggestions, thoughts, tips you'd like to learn, uh, building tricks, whatever. I don't know. Uh, leave it down there in the comments. Thank you for listening to my rambling. I will see y'all in the next video.